What up, YouTube? Tim Roos here. Uh, since this is my vibe, doing my reviews for past June films. Here's my review for the 2006 comedy, Cleck. Cleck premiered all the way back on June 23rd, 2006, and starred Adam Sandler as uh, this workaholic named Michael Newman, who, you know, pretty much has it all. He has a, a very gorgeous wife named Donna, played by, well, played wonderfully by Kate Beckinsale. Uh... Who is like very uh, frustrated by the amount of time he has to spend at work and all, and so Michael, uh, you know, all uh, it's uh, you know decides to get himself like a, a universal remote control, and so he goes to Bed Bath and Beyond, which perfect product placement. I mean, I'm every time I go inside Bed Bath Beyond, all I think of is the movie Cluck, you know. So talk about product placement right there. And so, you know, in uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, he ends up meeting this, uh, you know, inventor played by Christopher Walken, who gives him, like, this universe remote control that, uh, controls the universe. And he, of course, uses his remote control, and it fixes, like, usually his, you know, family, and it fast-forwards, uh, stuff, which I will totally love to get a remote control like that. that you know, uh, pretty much remote, uh, control, like, that controls the universe and all that. I mean, how cool would that be? You know, uh, you're in traffic one one day, and then um, you can just uh, fast forward. You can fast forward anything. That that would be something really cool. You know, this movie I guess say um, is a bit sim is a bit in the vein of let's say it's a Wonderful Life or even Back to the Future. Uh, and Adam Sandler, by the way, he was so good in this movie. I mean, the film. You know, you'll actually think this movie ends up becoming a bit of a comedy throughout the whole um, film. There is loads of humor. But it gets a little dark throughout the rest of the film. And you're also going to need some tissues while you're watching this at times. I mean, the makeup of Adam Sandler when he gets, like, older was really cool. And you also have some other intriguing cast members here, too. Like, you had uh, David Hasselhoff, who plays um, who plays um, Adam Sandler's overbearing boss. I love David Hasselhoff in this movie. It's probably one of my favorite um, performances of David. I mean, the scene where uh, Adam Sandler decides to fart in his David Hasselhoff face was hilarious. Uh, you also had uh, the likes of Henry Winkler and um, Marge Simpson herself, Julie Kavner, who portrays the role of Micah's parents. Sean Astin was in this. I mean, he literally plays like a, um, the son's swimming coach. And, I mean, Sean Astin in this one was awesome. I mean, whoever would expect Sean Astin to have Speedos? Uh, you know, you also had, uh, the one who plays the kids, um, in past, the present was pretty good. I mean, you actually had a Jonah Hill who plays, like, a, a teen version of the son. It was pretty cool to see Jonah Hill in this. Uh, you also had, um, Jake Hotman, a.k.a. Dustin Hotman's son, um, had a part in this. Uh, you also had Lorraine Nickerson, who's the daughter of Jack Nickerson. She appeared in this. Uh, Katie Cassidy, uh, was also in this. Now, I'm not even joking, you, um... For all you Shameless fans, Cameron Monaghan, who you might know as uh, Ian Gallagher on Shameless, he played an O'Doyle. Um, he played Kevin O'Doyle in this, and it does have that um, iconic joke of O'Doyle rules. O'Doyle rules. Remember from Bill, uh, Billy Madison? I always laugh every time I see that part. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge was also in this. Rachel Dratch, uh, Jane, uh, Jane and Kramer, Nick Swanson had a cameo in this. Rob Schneider, uh, James Earl Jones, Terry Crews was even in this movie. I mean, this has some, you know, really intriguing cast members in this. Uh, but, man, this movie is so, so good. Uh, you know, the story, the script is really decent. I remember watching this movie in theaters when it got released. I used to, I thought this was a really terrific watch. Uh, one of Sandler's best performances. It shows how great Sandler could do with, um, outside of comedy. Because I've been saying this for a while. For a long time, you know, as much as I love Adam Sandler when he does comedies, whether it's something like Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, the guy has range when it comes to dramas, you know. And granted, this movie is a comedy, but when it, you get towards the ending, um, in the middle, it gets a little dramatic, um, at times. But this guy has range as a drama actor. We've seen that with Punch Drunk Love. We've seen that with Rain Over Me. Of course, we've seen that most recent with Uncut Gems. This guy has it all. Like, when he does, um, when he, you know, ventures into a dramatic territory, the guy is terrific. You know, Oscar caliber right there. And I know he was really wonderful in this. In this. And his chemistry with Christopher Walken, 
come on, who did not love Christopher Walken in this? Uh, of course, the uh, you know, it, this has so many fun scenes, like when uh, at, um, Adam Sandler's like uh, changing colors, uh, he becomes uh, the Incredible Hulk, uh, aka Green. He, uh, I like the scene with uh, Barney. Oh, there's Barney. Um, whoever thought that um, Dragon Tales would have loads of uh, you know scenes in this? I mean, this does. Who remembers Dragon Tales? Come on. Uh, but yeah, this has a couple of Dragon Tales uh, lines. I mean, this movie is just such a really good one. You know, I still own it on DVD. It's an amazing movie. If you guys have never really seen Click, uh, you can find it on Tubi TV. Uh, you can find it on Fandango Now, Voodoo Prime Video, Apple. Shame it's not on, like, Netflix or anything like that, but still. Um, we'll expect it. Uh, since Adam Sandler bought, like, um, has a multi-film deal with Netflix, you'll expect all of his movies to be on Netflix, but, you know, it's not. Uh, anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen the Adam Sandler movie Click? If so, watch Star Wars. Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Where does the movie rank on your favorite Sandler list? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Simu Sion.